jacks. Hi friends! Today I am here with Jax and Sherlock. They're my corgis. And today I am going to be sharing with you my dog parent must-haves. My friend Sophia, she just did one on her channel. I'm gonna go ahead and link it below. And after I saw the video, I was like, I for sure need to do one of those. Um, I think it's so fun to just share like what our must-haves are. And it was so interesting to see like what I have the same and what we have different. And so I'm just really excited to share my favorite dog products with you all. All right, let's get started. So my first product is hands down a must a must like it's life-changing okay so it's this see this it's this huge like spot cleaner vacuum okay and you know pets like there's accidents and um, you know whether it's throw up whether it's them going to the bathroom wherever it may be and this thing is amazing it's 100% a must have. So you put this solution in here, it's with soap, and then this bottom part, it runs over the spot and it cleans it. And then all the dirty whatever ends up in the other side, if you saw that other clear area. And it has seriously been a life just saver because um, when we moved into our house, we moved in in the winter and we didn't know that we had an olive tree in our backyard and um, when it grew flowers or whatever or bloomed the olives fell in our yard and our dogs ate the olives and dogs can't have olives let's just say that so there was red like vomit all over my like tan and white rug in our office and i was freaking out because, oh my gosh, it's a red rug, sorry, a white rug, has red stains in it. Put the spot thing, good as new, like completely new. I would get this thing if I didn't even have dogs, like for kids, whatever it may be, it's the best thing. You just need it, you need it. My next favorite product is another thing for your house, but it's this robo vacuum. I don't really know how to pronounce that. It's probably even backwards at the camera, but we put a little like Rick face on it. Hey, I turned myself into a robo vacuum, Morty. Like that kind of thing. But um, it is seriously the best. So our roommate bought it for us and we just like run it nonstop. Like, it is the perfect like touch up vacuum. Like obviously it's not doing like a full vacuum, but um, it's really great for picking up hair. And like my dogs shed so much. Like when we comb them, I swear a third corgi could come out of them. There's just so much hair. So it's just nice to like run during the day and just like pick up hair and all that. And you can get ones that like hook up to your phone and so you can schedule it at a certain time and it will run and it's seriously just so helpful as just an extra aid to like make sure all the dust and stuff is picked up and the hair from your pets. So definitely a must have. My next product is, this is kind of for their health. This like salmon oil. It's like fish oil for dogs, but it's seriously the best. So what it is, is it's like vitamins you like squirt on their food. And Sherlock right here, he used to bald his like knee. Like he used to bite it and just take all the hair off. And we went to the vet and she pretty much was like, have you tried giving them this salmon oil on their food? And I'm like, oh no, go ahead, we'll, we'll, we'll try that. So I just picked it up. You can get it at a couple pet stores. You can get it on Amazon for sure. I'm gonna be linking all these products below so you'll be able to get them. But yeah, you just squirt it on their food and as soon as both dogs started doing, cause Jax has allergies too, 
Sherlock stopped balding his knee. We didn't need to give him allergy shots anymore. It completely changed his health. Like it just made him so much better. And his coat was just so much smoother and just everything about him um, not being irritated and just biting himself and Jack's not sneezing with the pollen and stuff. It's seriously has helped. And it's just a little bit you put on um, in the morning. Uh, we feed our dogs twice a day in the morning and the evening. So we put it on in the morning and the evening and that's about it. But it's really great for them and they like the taste and it really helps with um, the kibble that they just don't want to eat sometimes. Well, it's not that they don't want to eat it, but it's kind of plain, you know, it gives, it makes it salmon-y. But um, yeah, my next product is, the dogs really want this. So I keep this little basket full of them. I need to get more running low. But I don't know about you guys, but my dogs, they just like, they get a new toy and then it's just shredded, like right away. Like five minutes, the toy's gone. And I just don't wanna spend like even $5.99 on a toy or $7.99 or $9.99 or whatever. They're normally outrageous prices for something that's gonna last them five minutes. And then there's the fluffs everywhere. And it's just like, that was only five minutes of fun. So I'm gonna link it below, but there's um, toys you can buy in bulk. And my dogs are considered midsize, so this might be a little bit not as great for someone who has a bigger dog because they're kind of small, but you can buy in bulk stuffed animals for a dollar. So you can get like 13 for a dollar, 14 for a dollar. These are two little frogs, little kitty, um, little chick, all that kind of stuff. And they all have, they all have squeakers in them. But um, yeah, they just love them so much and they're in bulk so I don't feel as bad and I just, when I start getting low, I just order more and we kind of pace them so that's why I keep them in this bin because if I let them out, they would just get all of them. He wants one now. We'll give him one. Hi, buddy. My next favorite thing is It's this little net right here. And so my other dog, Jax, the one who jumped down and walked away, he, he thinks the passenger seat belongs to him or something. And so when we go on road trips where someone's sitting in the passenger seat, so like say Alex is sitting in the passenger seat, he wants to climb up there. He wants to sit in his lap. He wants to be up all in the front. And sometimes we'll do that, but you know, if you have a dog sit on you for a while, they get hot, the hair gets everywhere, all that. So sometimes we just want to sit in the passenger seat and the dog's in the back. So we have this net right here and it goes between the driver's seat and the passenger seat. And it blocks that little like center console area so he can't climb up. So it keeps him back there and it's just a nice to have because it's really unsafe for him to be coming in the front, especially when you're driving or trying to get up there. And so I just feel like this is just such a great thing to have for dogs that feel like they need to sit in the passenger seat in the front. He never tries to sit in the driver's seat, thank goodness. He thinks the passenger seat though belongs to him. And so that's why we have this. The worst though he does is that we will be driving and he'll start shoving his like nose through here, like trying to get as far as he can, but um, other than that, it's it's perfect. So that's that. Uh, my next thing is, what's this called? The Furminator. It's this little brush and I swear, like corgis just shed so much. I'm sure a lot of dogs too. I've only ever had corgis so I, I wouldn't know, but okay, I can like rake just so much hair out of the dog. It's crazy. And so these just like defur them a little bit and just make their coat, you know, nice and smooth, but also removing that excess fur that's just in there and that's just gonna shed everywhere. So, um, yeah, this is called the, uh, the Furminator. And I think this is the small size, but they have a large, a medium and a small. And how it works is that you, you know, you comb them and stuff and the hair kind of falls off but then the hair that gets caught in there, there's this little button and you push it. I don't know if you can see that in the back. Let's see. But you kind of just push it like this and it moves all the hair off and 
you and then it's clean again you don't have hair stuck in the brush but it's seriously so great for dogs that shed i know they make ones for long haired dogs and they make ones for short hair dogs so i think this is the long haired dog one i'm not sure if it says yeah it says long hair on it i don't know if you can see that but yeah on the metal but uh it's so great for dogs that just need to be really combed out and do a lot of shedding my next item is a recommendation from Sophia from her channel. I told you I'm linking down below. Her channel is Here is the Sitch, and she recommended this to me. And I always have a problem with my dog shedding on the couch and really anything. This works for pillows too. But pretty much what you do is there's this like felt side or something. I'm not sure what it is, but you just roll it on the, the surface and it collects all the dog hair. It seriously picks it all up. You don't have to worry about it. And it will let it, so you can see there's a little bit in there. It will just clump it all in there. And then you can just dispose of that and throw it away. And it works so well. And it's just so much better than having to take the vacuum and like run it on the couch and that takes forever and you're sweating and yeah, just I don't like doing that. So this has been seriously the best thing because it just makes it so much easier. I run it on the pillows, I run it on the couch. I wish I could run it on them, but it just is so, so great. And definitely a must. I would definitely check this out. Oh, I'm trying to think what it's called. It's a Chom Chom Roller. Chom Chom. Okay, this is another kind of like fun item for them. And they're these like little lick pads. And they got little bones and stuff in it so you can like put, you can kind of grip stuff in there. And I'll just smear peanut butter on them. But I find them really helpful because uh, my dogs are pretty anxious, like especially when people come over to the house. And so like if someone's coming to work on the house or someone new is coming over and they're gonna be kind of anxious, sometimes I find it's great to like just put a little peanut butter on it. You know, you can stick these on any surface. They have these suction cups in the back so you can put it on the fridge, the floor, the wall that's flat. And it's just good for them to go and like have something they can do. Cause I've read that like licking and stuff like that for dogs is like very therapeutic. And so, um, I'll like, if someone's coming over to the house or something, I'll just put it on there and they go to town on these. They absolutely love it. And it's just like something for your dogs to do. Sometimes, you know, they're always just chewing or running or walking around. And now they get to lick on these really fun pads and they love peanut butter. I've also tried honey before, just a little bit. I don't really like to give them like sugar or anything, but like it's sometimes it's just to switch it up. But um, yeah, it's been, they're great. Yeah, I don't know what these are called, but I'm definitely gonna link them in the description. Um, this bowl right here. This bowl has been so helpful to my dogs. So Jax, we'll call him food savage a lot because he is a food savage. Like he wants food and he will just eat his like kibble so so quickly and that's like not healthy you know with the air and the stress and everything like that and so we were like what are we gonna do and then we found these slow feeder bowls and so the kibble like goes in there and the uh, it's kind of like a little maze for them to like get the food and so it takes them much longer to eat it and like I will put the kibble on this and I'll squirt the little salmon stuff that I had before. I'll shake it up or whatever and then I put it down and then they just, it just really slows them down. They eat and it's been super helpful for both dogs. Okay, my next item, I gotta steal it from Sherlock. Ooh. Oh, he's like, what are you doing, mom? Okay. So this is bark collar. And I know a lot of people are mixed about using bark collars, but the great thing about this bark collar is it's not a shock collar. Um, I am was so, I'm so against using shock collars on my dogs. Um, I felt it before on my hand and I'm just not comfortable doing that. Um, but what this one does is it chimes when they're barking and it doesn't shock them, but it shakes like this. So it's like a little vibration collar. 
with a chime. And the reason we have this is because um, my dogs, they definitely bark when the doorbell rings and um, it's just been something that we've all been working from home. And so um, if packages and stuff are being delivered and stuff all the time and they're just like barking, it's just been one of these things that has really helped them. And um, I 100% noticed a difference. Actually, after a few hours of having them on, they've been wearing this now for um, a few weeks and night and day, like I, I'm amazed how well this is working. So now they don't really bark. What they'll do is they'll kind of make, we call it little huffing noises. They're like soft barking. It's like versus like the full on barking. And the thing about, we have two dogs is so when one barks, the other one barks. So it's just like back and forth feeding off each other. But this collar has been super helpful. So if you're one of those people that's like, oh my, my dog, he barks all the time. Barks when you see squirrels in the yard, he barks at the door, um, hears weird noises, and you're looking for a solution and um, you don't know what to do. I know I personally tried doing those trainings that um, Caesar, the dog whisperer, recommends where you like knock on stuff and you treat them when they're quiet and however the process works. Yeah, it works for like a little bit, but then they go right back to it. And so it wasn't working for me. So if you're one of those people like me and your dogs are a little chatty, um, that this is something that can help because it's not a shock collar. It just vibrates and does a little chiming noise. Okay, I have a couple more things. I'm almost done. But if you have a dog crate, this is like a cover that goes over the dog crate. There's like flaps. So if you have the dog crate that opens on the side or one that opens in um, the front, um, you just slide it over and you're able to adjust what side you want open so they can get in and out. But it is just so nice to have something that like covers the dog cages, not only because I don't like seeing the dog cages, but also for the dog. Because um, what I find about it is that it creates this like dark safe space and we always leave the crates open and we call it actually their bedroom so like sherlock will go in his and hang out in there and it's just like this dark safe space for him and so if we ever travel with the crate and we just and we bring the covers it's like putting him and he feels like he's in the same environment even though he's in a different space so we really like the covers not only because it makes the cages look pretty but also because i can tell just with my dogs that it really makes them feel more comfortable because they are um, able to feel like they're in the same environment even when they're not in the same environment. So I definitely recommend those. And they have lots of different patterns and all that. I have just the gray with like, I don't know what that is, but I thought it was cute. So that's what I got. But yeah, definitely really nice if you have a crate and you maybe have an anxious dog who gets upset when you leave. Covering the crate is something I find that really helps. Okay, two more things. This one I absolutely love. I don't know if you can see it. It's a huge banana. So it's a dog bed and this is actually Jax's dog bed. Sherlock has a donut, but um, it's just so great. Like it's so cute. I love like giant food. I have a thing about like giant food pillows and stuffed animals so this is just like super me but also like it's nice because he can get in there and he really cozies up in there and he just loves it and it has this like pad that's removable in it so you could like if you needed to Sherlock's getting scared uh, you could um, put it in the wash and that's just super great because you know the dog hair gets stuck to it things happen and so um, being able to wash the dog bed is super helpful because a lot of times you can't pull apart dog beds if they don't have a zipper or something. And so that's really nice. So it's super cute and you can wash it. So that's a plus. Last thing is I'm gonna add a clip because it's also another bed, but it's an outdoor dog bed. And I absolutely love it because it's so durable. I bought it back in like, I think 2015, 16. 
and it's still holding up. Yeah, it's faded a little bit, but it's super durable and you can wash it, you can unzip it, you can throw it in the washer and it just is a seriously a great dog bed. My dogs love it. It's super squishy and comfortable and you can have it out in the rain, in the sun, whatever weather. It's all weatherproof and it's just seriously the best outdoor bed and again they make it in all different types of colors all different types of patterns um, I'm gonna have it linked below but definitely go and check out the brand and see what other ones and I just think it's nice to have a dog bed outside because some days it's hot and the dogs don't want to stand on the cement because it's dangerous to their paws and so having something they can just like sit on and maybe even in the shade or something um, is really nice. Sherlock definitely sits on it a lot and Jaxel goes out there but he's definitely someone who kind of just wants to be inside so he sits by the door but like Sherlock will enjoy himself out on the dog bed and it's really cute. But anyway I hope you guys enjoyed my must-haves for any dog parent. I absolutely hope that you go and check them out and maybe you found something new that you didn't know and I don't know what kind of dog products or something you guys recommend, but definitely put them in the comment section below. I'm always looking for things that are just gonna make my life and my dogs like so much better. And so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. More videos will be coming. Thank you, bye.